Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into really one of the strongest builds regarding the Void Gauntlet in New World. It's going to be a very, very strong build when it comes to 1v1s or even any kind of small scale PvP, and that's going to be the melee side of the Void Gauntlet because of the lunges, because of really everything in utility wise it gives you damage and healing. It's going to be a strong, strong, really build to continue to use. So. I did spend a lot of time in the PTR testing this build out. If you guys want to see more, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. Let's jump into this great build. All right, guys, so I want to start by just kind of talking you guys through a couple things before we actually jump into the build. And I am going the rapier. I just want that to be known that the rapier is not a necessity when it comes to this build type. Uh, I use the rapier just because I'm most familiar with the rapier when it comes to melee. That's probably my favorite weapon right now besides, you know, this new void gauntlet build. But you can just see how much utility that I have. So I start usually with the rapier to go in hot and then try to evade and repost a little bit, use some of their abilities or passives. Um, you know early on and take no damage or effect by them and then I switch over to the void gauntlet and with the void gauntlet There's a couple abilities that give me a ton of healing and give me a ton of damage And you're gonna be able to see that in some of these clips right now I'm very very low you see the healing that comes out and I'm continuing to heal after I get the kill You can see it in many many different spots so right here You can see that kind of healing I wanted to go back and give you guys a little replay of how much I'm healing during this fight It's absolutely unbelievable you'll see in a lot of these clips the healing is crazy and I'm I'm not going very, very tanky in this build. This is actually with, uh, you know, the PTR gear, so it's not very good gear. Um, we'll kind of talk more about that during the build itself, but just absolutely crazy amount of damage you guys can see in some of these fights. I wanted to showcase this because this is going to be a very, very fun way to actually play the Void Gauntlet, in my opinion, and could be a very overpowered way to play it. There's actually uh, a couple different things I want to mention here. You'll see two different abilities kind of be swapped in and out. That's going to be that little pull, and then it's also going to be the tether. So those are going to be two abilities I swap in and out. We'll talk about that during the actual build guide as well at the end of the video. But I wanted to show you guys these clips because these clips just kind of showcase how much healing and damage I'm doing. And people are not able to even heal it with the live staff void gauntlet combo. Uh, the only thing I ran across that maybe has a chance of taking this out, and we've talked about counters. Pretty much everything in New World does have a counter. When it comes to the void gauntlet, because I'm going melee mode, kind of going the rapier kind of style of just all in, staying on the target, sticking to the target. The biggest thing I ran across that would beat me would be typically just the ice gauntlet and then maybe the bow and spear just because really unless I time my repose perfectly and uh, you know my rapier is not going to do much damage because I'm going for f full focus that's going to be one of the major reasons as to why I would typically lose to an ice gauntlet maybe like a bow and spear because the bow and spear definitely one of the strongest 1v1 builds out there but then you have the ice gauntlet where it just counters all forms of melee. Uh, for the most part, I was able to win most of my fights, though, and you can see why. I mean, just absolutely massive amounts of damage, and the healing is absolutely absurd. Uh, you know, I, th I don't think it's an overpowered build, though. You know, I've looked at the abilities. I've definitely beat most of the people I've played against, but that's just because I read the abilities. I took the time to understand what abilities are the strongest with the type of build that I want to go, and that build I want to go provides me a little bit of CC. It provides me a lot of damage and a ton of healing. You can see how much movement, by the way, you get with the Void Gauntlet and healing you get with the Void Gauntlet just because of the fact with the lunges, how much really you get movement-wise with the, the lunges. Uh, is just unbelievable with heavy attacks and then the light attack spam when you need to just get some healing in because there is some kind of strategy or skill to getting your healing off and we'll talk about that when it comes down to the build later on. If you guys have not already, by the way, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. We are going to continue to bring you guys some of the best New World content out there. You can see there, a healer could not outheal the damage. It's just too much. It's constant. It's too much damage. And one big part of this is going to be the tether. The tether provides a buff to me and also a weaken to them. So it's going to continue to build onto the amount of damage I do. So if you haven't figured out what we're all going here, we're going the melee which is my R, then we have the root, which is my F, 
and then we have the tether which is my mouse button uh you know a lot of you guys would call your q but here you can see a little bit more of that healing by the way watch my health bar this entire fight this is going to be a great kind of uh, idea of how strong this truly truly is you can see right now it's not really leaving that full health spot right now um and he's weak he's running away and i'm full health so it's just crazy i'm not doing any healing abilities really i'm just auto attacking with my melee on uh, on the void gauntlet, which is just you know just absolutely insane you can see there i got the tether off as soon as you get the tether off you're in business you're doing it very very good from there on out and you can just see the amount of health i'm getting and the amount of health he's losing this is going to be our last fight before we jump into the actual build talk just a little bit about that build itself uh, but another great fight where i get that root down you can see he's just auto attacking nothing i get my tether down after the root which is always the combo i like to go for keeping that tether nice and close i didn't even lose a health all right, guys, so let's talk about that build. First off, we have Annihilation. This is going to be a kind of an obvious one. We're taking the Void Blade, summon a blade of void energy that converts your basic attacks to melee. Tap basic attack to a, perform a quick slash that deals 100% weapon damage or hold to perform a thrust attack that deals 150% weapon damage. Both attacks inflict uh, really inflict that disintegrate on successful hits, by the way, dealing 5% weapon damage per second and reducing damage absorption by 5% for 8 seconds, which is absolutely huge and it stacks up to to three times and has a 15 second duration so that's going to be the first thing we're taking obviously like usual we're going to be taking everything underneath that um, so we're going to be taking vicious void we're going to be taking leeching blade and fortified blade so the first thing we're going to talk about is fortified blade gain fortify on start increasing your damage absorption by 20 percent for five seconds now we have the vicious void which is 10 percent critical damage on void blade attacks going to help with our damage output we also have leeching blade successful thrust attacks heal self for five percent weapon damage per and disintegrate stack on target scales exclusively with focus so you are going to want to have 300 focus as your goal for this build at the very least 300 focus and the rest in constitution is what i would like to go as we continue on to the left side we have petrifying scream which is the really what i would call a root and you actually see here unleash a void infused scream dealing 100 percent weapon damage staggering and inflicting root to enemies five meters in front of you disables enemy movement for two seconds absolutely huge going to be an aoe root as well which is just crazy bone chilling voice by the way root duration increased by one second on targets below 50 percent health going to be very very big if you can actually utilize that to your really advantage obviously we have fortifying echoes as well gain fortify for each enemy hit increasing damage absorption by 10 percent for 10 seconds per hit stacks up to three times so just imagine the amount of fortifying you may be able to actually you know take advantage of here with fortifying echoes as well as your void blades fortified blade we have more to jump into today though regarding the void uh the void i keep trying to say the void blade instead of the void gauntlet because that's kind of what it is to me at this point is the void blade but we have more to jump into and there's a lot more to jump into when regards to the passives that really help make this build shine so before we jump into that i want to talk a little bit about the baleful tether because that's our next one to take so first off we're going to take fervent thor uh for fervent thirst you guys try to help me out in the comments there but plus five percent mana per successful ranged light attack against targets afflicted by your void gauntlet debuffs this is pretty nice just because you do have mana problems if you go this build and don't actually have mana food or mana pots so we have the baleful tether which is going to fire a projectile that tethers you to an enemy weakening it and empowering you by 4% per second, 20% maximum. The tether ends if the target moves beyond 15 meters and there is a 10 second duration. So if you're playing against this build and you understand the build, you are going to want to really dodge this tether. And if you do get hit by the tether, try to avoid being in the tether. Get the heck out of that 15 meter range. We have more to jump into with the tether though. We're going to take the tethered refresh. Successful hits against the tethered target reduce other void gauntlet cooldowns by 5%. Heck yes, we will be taking that. We also have Tethered Focus, so 100% mana regeneration while Tether is active. That's pretty solid, but we also have the Soul Eater, which is going to allow us to actually have an opportunity 
at 1VXing in New World yet again. We haven't seen many builds out there being able to 1VX. This could be one potentially with all of the lifesteal and especially Soul Eater. So regain 80% weapon damage as health if the tethered target dies. Skills exclusively with focus. So you are going to make sure to get that 300 focus at least and understand that you have to kill the target when you have them tethered. So to jump on over to the other side of Annihilation, we need more passives. What passives? are we taking? Well, we're going to be taking the 10% damage while below 50% mana because we are below 50% mana quite a bit with this build. We are going to also be taking the 10% critical chance while above 50% health. We are above 50% health quite a bit because of our lifesteal. We have more to talk about though. We have refreshing precision plus 10% cooldown reduction on all abilities on critical hit, which is nice. We also have plus 10% critical chance while all abilities are on cooldown, which is by the way, pretty common with this build as well. Empowering proximity is one we're going to take as well. This could be really, really strong, by the way. Um, you know, we have gain and power when casting abilities within five meters of an enemy, increasing damage by 10% for five seconds, stacks up to three times, so you can get up to 30% damage there very, very, very quickly. And that's one thing you're going to want to utilize and understand is your passives and your abilities so that you can make this build work. If you don't understand any of your build, Obviously, it's not going to be very, very strong. So make sure to understand your build before going out and, uh, you know, getting wiped with it. So on critical hit, gain health equal to 50 15 percent of damage done so that's absolutely huge that's why we're healing so much as well um so you can see a couple of different reasons as to why we're healing but the biggest one is yet to come this is absolutely insane the ultimate ability which is the void caller on successful ability hit gain a stack of void essence as six stacks consume all stacks and gain a three meter aura that heals self and friendlies for 30 percent weapon damage and deals 30 percent weapon damage per second to enemies within healing scales exclusively with focus five second duration 20 second cooldown 20 second cooldown yes that's right that is a very very low cooldown in a five second duration this is going to be one of the builds that i believe like i said could actually have the potential to 1vx we are going to have to see what goes with it very well you know i was using the rapier in today's video but i did say you know you can use any really second weapon you want because you're going to be focusing on getting all focus to make this the weapon of your really your build so you can go to great axe just to get the grab well and the charge for mobility and the utility or you could go the hammer for you know just more cc you could go the rapier for just a little bit more mobility and flexibility there as well there's a lot of great options but this is going to be the build that i believe is going to be huge for the void gauntlet in my opinion you guys saw the duels very, very strong, at least in duels, maybe 1VXing. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we get more really in detail with some of these PvP fights. I'll try to continue to test on the PTR as well, giving you guys some of the greatest content in New World. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. If you guys are also wondering about gems, I do like to take the opal gem because we are constantly using our stamina always low on stamina and because of that i think it's a great gem to actually take there may be other options i'll have to look a little bit farther into that as well but that's what i used today in today's video and it worked very very well in these duels so thank you guys again for tuning in make sure like i said to like the video subscribe to the channel turn notifications on i'll see you guys all in the next one